organizations are moving towards agile methodology from the traditional software development methodologies. When you say agile methodology, the first thing you think of is agile scrum. The term scrum is mainly based on agile, and there are several processes involved in it. A scrum master is a professional in scrum. So, in this video, we will understand the most common mistakes that scrum masters make and how to overcome them. Before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. We will start our session with a brief understanding of what Scrum is and who is a Scrum Master. Moving on, we understand the most common mistakes that Scrum Masters make and how to overcome them in detail. I hope the agenda was clear. Before we start with our session, if you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, to learn more about Agile Project Management and its practices, check out Invensys Learning's Agile Project Management Certification Training on Certified Scrum Product Owner professional scrum product owner, professional scrum master, and agile scrum master. All of the necessary information is given in the description box. Without any further ado, let us get started with a quick understanding of what scrum is. Scrum is a framework based on agile development methodology where the software development is made in iterative and incremental processes. It is an agile framework that is flexible, fast, and helps deliver customer expectations on time. The prime goal of the Scrum framework is to satisfy the customer's requirements with effective communication, transparency, continuous progress, etc. The most complex development process that takes a long time can be easily managed with the Scrum framework. Also, Scrum teams are self-organized and can adapt to the changes as per the requirements. Scrum is a lightweight framework with three roles in priority. They are Scrum Master, Product Owner, and Developers. Scrum has multiple teams where there will not be any sub-teams under it. All Scrum teams will be focusing on a single goal or the objectives of the product. So, this was just a brief definition of Scrum. Now, let us move on to our next topic and understand who a Scrum Master is. The Scrum Master is responsible for the projects to follow the Scrum framework. The Scrum Master helps the team understand Scrum and practice in larger and more complex projects. The Scrum Master should handle the Scrum team's effectiveness and serve the Scrum team with several roles involved in the Scrum team. The Scrum Master should coach the team for self-management based on Agile principles. Also, project impediments are removed at the very earlier stages to avoid challenges in the future. The Scrum team is mentored and trained by the Scrum Master to achieve the primary goal, which is customer satisfaction. So, I guess, you have some idea about who a Scrum Master is. Now, let us move on to our main topic and discuss some of the common mistakes of a Scrum Master. Though Scrum Master is the facilitator of Scrum by implementing the Scrum practices, there are chances of making mistakes that will impact hugely. The Scrum Master is responsible for the Scrum team and hence should be aware of these mistakes to avoid them in the future. Now, let us talk about some of the common mistakes that are found to be performed by Scrum Masters often in detail, along with the ways to avoid them in Scrum teams. First mistake is avoiding daily Scrum meetings. One of Agile software development's most common and essential practices is daily stand-ups or scrum meetings. Before starting the day's work, daily stand-ups will be conducted where team members gather and address their previous and current tasks. These meetings will be highly helpful for better communication among the team members and effective collaboration. The teams could easily achieve the visibility and transparency of the task by spending some 10 to 15 minutes with the team. All the team members must attend the scrum meeting without fail. Every team member should address the achieved activities and the present activity that has been planned. It is for the team, and the Scrum Master does not have to interfere much in the meeting. Thus, the Scrum Master is the daily Scrum Team Meetings Facilitator. Most of the time, Scrum Masters will be skipping this Scrum Meeting. The teams must conduct Scrum daily for a short period where team members gather together and address their activities. Every team member should keep following the three questions in the daily stand-up are. What did I do yesterday? What have I planned today? Are there any issues? These questions look very simple, but the team members and the managers could understand the flow of the task and the issues prevailing in it. As a result, teams will benefit from conducting the daily scrum meetings. Some of the advantages guaranteed with this are better communication, understanding of team goals, improved team collaboration, continuous improvement, continuous integration, and continuous monitoring. Second mistake is not understanding the difference between scrum master and team manager. The role of the Scrum Master is not the same as Project Manager. Here is what every Scrum Master confuses. As discussed earlier, the Scrum Master is just a facilitator of the Scrum and not the Project Owner. The framework already defines the roles of the Scrum Master. 
Despite this, the project manager's role is something different where he has command and control over the entire project team members. The project managers will only assign tasks and control the team members working on the allocated tasks. The Scrum team is a self-organized and self-managed team that takes ownership of the tasks they perform. The Scrum master here in the Scrum team is called a servant leader who helps the team whenever the team is facing any issue in the project. The regular work on the Scrum master is to deal with the challenges identified by the Scrum team and solve them effectively. The Scrum master should understand the role properly and work accordingly to avoid these mistakes. They should understand the Scrum framework initially and plan the work accordingly. They are not allowed to dictate or control the team members but to stand by their queries and issues by providing potential solutions and support to resolve the issue. Scrum Master can help the team members learn from their experiences with kind support, encouragement, and mentorship. They should encourage communication and collaboration among the teams to develop Scrum values. Continuous improvement is essential in Scrum, and hence Scrum Master should help out the team with that. To understand and protect the team and organization from external obstacles in the projects. The third mistake is principles are not practiced properly. Agile principles are the basic ideas behind the Scrum framework. A Scrum master must follow Agile practices and principles, and also following Agile principles is also necessary. It is because agility is the idea behind implementing a Scrum framework with which continuous development and delivery are possible. It is achieved through following the Agile principles. To become sustainable in the projects, following the Scrum and Agile principles is essential. Agile principles are for the people, culture, and interactions made among the team and do not have any dealing with tools and processes. Scrum teams are thus advised to follow the Agile principles for making better interactions among the team. The vision of the project is achieved by following Agile principles. Agile principles will discuss the tasks and ask to achieve them without providing other solutions. The core values of Agile are Interactions among individuals Collaborating with the customer accepting and responding to the changes, and achieving the software development on time. It can thus understand that Agile principles will help achieve better communication among teams part of Scrum teams. To avoid interaction issues and take the Scrum team effectively, Scrum masters should follow the Agile principles in their teams. Awareness of following these principles is required among the team members. The fourth mistake is making the team decisions. Decision-making makes the most discomfort for most of the teammates. If the decision fails, they have to bear the consequences. Project managers are the decision makers in the project. Since scrum masters are recruited based on their experiences and effective communication, most scrum masters may have experience making the right decision at the right time. But, this is not the case here, as the taking decisions by scrum masters are completely wrong here. Also, the team members will approach the scrum masters regarding making the decisions. While following the Agile principles, opinions and feedback are collected from different persons in the team before making decisions. Scrum masters making the decisions will look like the traditional software development model where only project managers make the decisions. Making the decisions by Scrum masters will entirely affect their role. Scrum masters are expected to encourage and mentor the teams to achieve the better possible solutions to the task. But making the decisions will take you to sit in the controlling position. The main role of the Scrum Master is affected by acting as the decision makers. Scrum Masters are suggested to avoid making decisions in a team rather than encourage team members to make decisions independently. It will enhance their skills and responsibilities. In this way, you can guide and facilitate the team. There will be chances of mistakes from the team, which are acceptable. Allow them to make mistakes and gain experiences from the mistakes. Scrum Masters must guide learning from the mistakes and reflect this learning in a future project. The fifth mistake is ignoring or not caring about the obstacles. As we discussed earlier, following Agile principles will always help you out in Scrum team management. In Scrum teams, the identified obstacles should be addressed and removed initially. It ensures that the project will not face serious issues at the time of delivery of the project. While you follow Agile principles, you will manage these obstacles with impediment removal concepts. To do so, the Scrum master should not take sole responsibility for solving the obstacles from the project. Instead, the team should be asked to take care of the obstacles so that they will understand them and find out the ways to resolve them. It also helps them avoid those obstacles in the future. If any obstacles arise in future projects, teams can resolve them with effective solutions. If not the impediments or obstacles are resolved in the earlier stages of the project, the time and cost spent on the development phase are completely wasted until identifying them in the future. Furthermore, 
the quality of the software product is affected if the obstacles are not identified in earlier stages. To avoid this issue, the Scrum Master should take sole responsibility for identifying the obstacles in the project. Discussing the daily process and plan in the daily stand-up should include any challenges identified. The importance of obstacles in the Scrum project should be advised and create awareness among the team to understand its consequences. It is also good to stop and delay the work to resolve the obstacles in the project rather than continue with them. The sixth mistake is being the team assistant. Being the team assistant is the most common mistake that the Scrum Masters make in the project. We have studied that the Scrum Master is the servant leader responsible for helping the team in the case of any obstacles. Most of the Scrum Masters are wrongly assuming that their role is only to assist the team members to resolve the aroused obstacles. Scrum Masters acting as the assistant of the team members in solving their complexities will not work. The team members will not be able to solve the obstacles independently in the future, hence creating risks. People then always rely on the Scrum Master for solving the problem they are facing. Several obstacles will arise as the Scrum Master will not resolve the obstacles of all the team members. Helping the team members is a role of the Scrum Master, but team members should not always wait for the Scrum Master to solve the problem. The confidence and decision-making skills of the team members will reduce if the Scrum Master acts as a team assistant. The team leader should help the team members solve the problem and not be involved in it. For overcoming the issues that are identified, awareness is essential. Providing the nod to solving the issues will improve their skills, knowledge, and confidence to solve the problem. Developing the self-organizing teams to solve the problems on their own is a good idea. The seventh mistake is higher workloads on a scrum team. It is one of the other mistakes that the scrum masters make. The scrum team is organized based on tasks that are allocated to them. The entire project is split, and the time boxing of activities is done. Time boxing is to provide the deadline of the tasks, events, and other activities performed by the team. The task or event that is not limited to this workload is considered a higher workload, and they cannot manage to complete their daily tasks on time. Scrum aims to manage the tasks as per the acceptable load and provide the acceptable duration to complete the tasks on time. Again increasing the workload will push them to overlap the tasks over the other. It will reduce the lack of focus on the task they are working on and, hence, impact the task's quality. The delays in the project tasks are because of such problems arising in the software development. For overcoming the problems identified, the focus should be on the workload provided to the team members. The daily scrum meetings or stand-up should discuss the delays caused in completing the task. Each meeting should discuss the time boxing that is provided. The issues on the time and workload should be discussed separately in a meeting. Scrum masters should always work with the teams to understand the workload provided and ask for suggestions and feedback. Scrum masters should not be encouraged to try the next sprint until the current sprint is completed. The eighth mistake is taking care of project delivery. Scrum Master is not responsible for delivering the software projects to the customers or dealing with the customers. The reason behind this is that the project manager is the sole person responsible for taking care of the delivery of the project and the Scrum Master is responsible for the completion of the given Scrum tasks. The Scrum Master should ensure that the Scrum terms deal with their tasks successfully by overcoming any issues or obstacles. The obstacles should be cleared with effective strategies and motivate and assist the team members. They should be encouraged to improve their performance and resolve any queries arising in the projects. All of this would be helpful in the Scrum task completion, and hence the project manager can take care of the delivery. However, Scrum masters taking care of the delivery of the project will not be much effective as there will not be any previous communication with the customer regarding the project. Therefore, the Scrum master is not advised to look after project delivery to avoid these issues. Scrum masters should only motivate the teams to improve the productive nature of the teams. They should monitor the Scrum teams closely for any issues arising in the project. Early detection of obstacles in the project will thus improve the quality of the developed product. Scrum masters must ensure the developers are working towards the requirements of the product. Even in the case of delivery, the Scrum master will have to look into the delivery of the product rather than verify the quality of the developed product. Collaborative planning by the team members with proper communication and collaboration will reduce any errors and deliver the product of scheduled time and quality. The ninth mistake is being a technical expert. If you are a technical expert in the projects, then there are chances that you will deliver the solutions easily to the team members. It will surely help complete the sprints on time and with better quality. But, as a scrum master, it is not advised to assist people with the known technical solutions. Scrum Master is only responsible for providing motivation and suggestions for the team members to complete the tasks allocated. 
Being a technical expert makes the team people rely on scrum masters. The responsibilities of team members in managing and finding out the better solutions will be affected when the scrum master helps out with a technical solution. The teams can easily figure out the challenges if you work as a technical expert and provide solutions to them. This problem will occur in projects since senior developers and experienced team members with better skills will only be selected as the scrum masters. They will have the mindset of resolving the issues with their skills and knowledge. But that will cause the teams to revolve around the scrum master for any obstacles identified. It is the same as the case discussed in the obstacle identification, where the teams are allowed to identify the solution. To overcome this problem in the projects, scrum masters should always focus on completing the sprints in the team. They can only work closely with the team to encourage and motivate them to find better solutions for the team. Their role is similar to the game coach, where only proper instructions should be given and not play the game. The scrum master is thus asked to trust the progress and make sure that the team members can resolve the issues independently. It will improve the agile mindset and assist in building self-managed and self-motivated teams. The agility in the projects will also improve by following the scrum activities with a proper scrum master. The tenth mistake is not believing in scrum. Apart from all other mistakes, the most serious mistake that all the scrum masters make is not believing in scrum and its output. Scrum framework is for the development and delivery of projects on time and with better quality. As a scrum master, not believing in scrum will cause negative consequences to the team members. Scrum is mainly based on the core principles followed in the scrum teams. The core principles of scrum are self-organization, time boxing, making priorities based on values, collaboration, effective communication, and controlling the progress. These core principles of Scrum have to be believed by the Scrum Master and the teams. For believing in Scrum, a Scrum Master should trust the team. In the complex environment and projects, Scrum will be highly helpful and assist in the development. The plan for the project should be completed on time with better quality. It should be the main goal of the Scrum Master without focusing on the tasks the team is performing. The product goal and sprint goal must be the highest priority to be accomplished for the Scrum Master. Once every sprint goal is achieved without obstacles or time delays, you will achieve the project or the product goal. Self-motivation and self-management will improve when the team focuses on the sprint goal. In such an environment, the Scrum Master must allow team members to make mistakes and learn from them. Scrum Masters trust the team, and they can rectify their mistakes and overcome them with higher confidence. All these could help develop the product based on Scrum and Agile principles with which continuous development and improvement are achieved. These were some of the common mistakes that Scrum Masters will make and how they can overcome them. I would like to conclude the session by saying that. The mistakes mentioned above are the most common mistakes made by the Scrum Masters. Every Scrum Master should be aware of these mistakes and ways to avoid them in future projects. The teams and Scrum Masters should believe in Scrum and trust the progress of the development. These mistakes are dangerous for the Scrum Master in any case and should be avoided to make the product development successful. The team will achieve the goals with the assistance of the Scrum Master. The assistance should be in progress and not in the development or any technical instances. Apart from all, the main role of the Scrum Master is to coach and encourage the team members. The daily stand-ups are facilitated to understand how teams flow in the development cycle. With this, any obstacles in the project are easily identified at earlier stages and will help avoid them. The practices and principles of Scrum should be delivered and drag the teams to follow them. Development, deployment, and delivery are not the processes to be followed by Scrum Master but rather to coach and motivate the team to work on Scrum practices. Self-management, self-organization, and agility are some other characteristics that should be developed among the teams by the Scrum Master. With this, we have come to an end of this video, I hope it was helpful. Comment your thoughts in the section below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell, never to miss an update from the Invensys Learning Channel. Also, if this has spiked your interest and you want to learn more about Scrum and its practices, check out Agile Scrum Master Certification Training by Invensys Learning which will help learn how to facilitate, coach, and enable cross-functional and self-managed teams as a Scrum Master. You can also check our other courses such as Certified Scrum Master, Professional Scrum Master, Safe Scrum Master and Agile Scrum Foundation. We at Invensys Learning, provide interactive instructor-led certification training by trainers with rich domain experience and expertise. We also provide mock tests to make you confident while appearing for the certification exams, access to mock tests and case studies prepared by the industry experts and personalized LMS with lifetime access that contain course resources. Thank you. Have a nice day.